Well, we're out here in the car corral. This has got a really big car corral here. These are all for sale. We'll try to show as many prices and stuff as we can. Uh, so you got the swap meet and the car corral, but this is the car corral area here. You kind of look down the row and see how far it goes way down there. So we'll start up at this end and show you what there is. There's an LS swap Chevy here, 59.5, two door hardtop, Bel Air. 61 bubble top here, 59.5 on that. i kind of show you the phone numbers on the ones I can see there. There's that one. Here's a 61 Olds convertible, a dynamic 88 Texas car. Price is 34.5. Pretty nice uh, 36 Ford. This is a two door slant back. Good looking car, 49.5 on that is the phone number. There's a square body Chevy. It's got an LS swap on it, 39.5, 500 plus horsepower. That's got to be kind of radical to drive. There's the phone number there. Chevy Blazer here. This thing looks really clean. Nice and clean under the hood. Body looks really good. All new frame off, it says. 42.5. Looks like the same, same owner on all those, I think. Got the phone number there. There's a 63 Beetle. This one was 22.9, but it says sold. Looks in pretty good condition. Here's a big block Corvette, it says 427 on the hood. This is that same, same person there. It's a four speed frame off restoration. 110,000. Here's a Chevy Impala. Got the triple carb set up there. Big block engine, 64.5 on that. It's got a four speed. Got a black Escalade here. I don't see the price on that one. Kind of jump over. We'll just jump around. There's a lot of them here, so we're not going to catch them all because it would take hours to go through all these, but we'll go through a few of the ones that we find interesting anyway. Here's a Ford Coupe. Don't see a price on that one. It's kind of a nice dark blue color. Super Deluxe. Here's a $9,500. Dodge pickup, a little rust in the roof line there, like a lot of them do. Here's a 1950 Dodge pickup. There's all the information. Got a more modern engine. Got a nice sounding hot rod coming by over there. Looks like a 33 or 4 Ford. Probably a Chevy engine, I'm guessing. Here's a nice Blazer. Oil drive. There's a nice little Chevy pickup here too. It's got the original six cylinder engine in there. Here's the phone number. I don't see the price. And here is the Blazer. 129,000 on that, wow. I've had a couple of these over the years, but I never got anywhere near 129,000 for them. A couple puppies in the back there, you can see them. You really got to watch the golf carts and the electric carts around this place. See, seen when we first got here, I'd seen them just about run somebody over, and they just kind of go full bore and don't don't worry about who gets in the way. Here's a square body pickup, 14.5. Can show you the info there. Here's another square body. This one's real nice, short box. I don't see a price on that one, but there's a the phone number. Got a more modern powertrain. Really nice paint on that bodywork. 19K for this little S10. We saw this driving down the road on the way in. This 
So this is the uh, Daytona swap meet and car corral here in Florida, Daytona, Florida. They have this spring and fall. This is a spring meet, 2024. And uh, just doing a little walk through here, show everybody what's, what's available. Here's a 31 Chevy Coupe, hot rod, 23.5. Oh, I like this one. 34 Ford. It's got a Chevy engine, 350. 42K on that. I always like cars of the 30s in black. They look really good. That one's nice. This is kind of later in the afternoon, so you'll see some gaps here. But it also rained earlier. And that might be another reason for some of the gaps. There's a 67 Chevelle there. There's the Info 54K. You know, people that watch these videos a lot of times say, oh, I can't believe the prices on these. Now, some of them I can agree with, but some of them, uh, you know, stuff in the $30,000, $40,000 range, if you got a rough one for free, it would cost you thirty dollars or 40000 just to restore it. So if they're all done, it's saving you a lot of time and you're really coming out ahead. It seems like a lot of money, but it's just because it's all up at, at one shot. You know, with a restoration, a lot of times people spend a little bit at a time, but they still get to the same number, if not much higher. There's a Ford two-door here. Looks like a hot rod, probably a Chevy engine, yep. 37.5 on there. See the phone number? Anytime you want to see the numbers on this stuff, and I have it in the video, you just got to pause it check it out because we can't hang too long on the videos or it makes them too long 57 Ford there 34.5 11 5 on the little dune buggy here's a Ford here two-door sedan it's a 30 with a 32 grill on it 48.5 on that. Show you the tag on that. Here's a cool uh, patina Ford pickup. This is a 1940, they're saying. Right there is the info 42,000. But it does have 41 hood trim. So I'm not sure, it could be a 40 or 41. Interior is all done over and then real nice on the inside dash, it's painted. Looks more like a 41 to me, but they have 40 written on there. A couple cars here, a Corvette and a Mercedes. Oh, look at this one here, 59 Impala, convertible. It's like kind of an older restoration. It's at 348. There's all the info. 76,000. Looks like a pretty good condition car. These are really, really gone up in price. Chevys of this age. It used to be 5960. They didn't want them too bad. Now they really like them. Primo money on those. Another Chevy and a Buick car here. Nothing too old. Jump over this side, get another Chevy here. This one's 15,000. 64. Got a Cadillac here, convertible. Twenty-one five on that one. There's the info right there. Yeah, we're going to jump over this way a little bit. I don't know what this is coming down the road. That is kind of a nightmare to me right there. Look at that. Stretched out. I don't know if that's a Mazda or what it is. It's got two engines under the hood. Chevy pickup there. Look at the old Bronco over there with a cap on it or something there. Camper shell on the back. 
like I say, we're not going to be able to get all of these in the video, but we're doing quite a few of them. Here's a 66 Charger. Sold. Boy, that's a nice car. <coughs> 23.5. In my eyes, these have always been underappreciated. They're great cars. The later Chargers bring big money. These don't. Don't really know why. That's the way it is. It's a Jag. Somebody's parking a lot here with the Ford pickup. Ooh, I see the A-Team van over there. We'll get over that way. Here's a 55 Chevy. Right here, two-door post. 65,000. There's the guy's number. Looks really nice. This one here driving along. Chevy. I'm trying to read the price there, but I don't see it. The Malibu. We got some Camaros and Mustangs and stuff over on the far side. Look at this International coming along. That's wild. Sounds like it's got a diesel in it. Maybe a Cummins diesel or something. That's pretty cool. See if we can fight the golf carts across here. There they go. It's one thing about Florida. There's plenty of golf carts. There's a nice little Camaro. Convertible, 95,000 on that one. This is the, the info. It looks really nice, but it is a lot of money. This is a 69 Mach 1, 428 big block for 68,000. This is a 66 Chevelle big block, 396, 68,000. Another 67 Chevelle convertible here it's in bright orange. New build. They don't tell you the price on that one. And here is a 454 big block Chevelle. It's a 1970. We'll get on the other side there. I guess it has some of the info. 22 by 10. There's the information on it. Pretty nice black car, red interior. That's how big the tire is. Here's another dune buggy, 13.5 on that. It's a fiberglass body Volkswagen. <coughs> well, we've got a few Chevys coming along here. Always fun to see him driving, listen to him. Those sound good. Here's a Lincoln. Don't see a price on some of these. I don't know if these are sold or these might be sold. I'm not sure what the deal is with these. They're all kind of jammed in there. Might be sold stuff, I'm not sure. Here's a nice looking El Camino here. And an international pickup. El Camino is 24.5. It's a big block, now it's a 350. There's the info. Here's a 63 International, 28.5 on there. Catch the info there. Got a couple square bodies here. There's a red Chevelle getting parked. 
There's a 54 or a 51 Ford on the other side of it there. Corvettes. Nova. We'll jump over here to the left here. We got a Ford Woody Wagon. Got the Fulton fun vi sun visor on there and some surfboards on top. This one's a 1950. Let's see what the price is here. Well, they've scratched the price off, but there's the phone number. It's so funny that those. Here's the Model A, 18.5 on this. It's a 3031 Model A two door. There's the info. Kind of a crude repair on the bottom of the cowl there. There's a gray Ford pickup there. Here's another square body. We're getting kind of a crowd around these, so we'll jump to the other side. Well, we're jumping over the other side here. Here's a Malibu coming by, a black one. I think that's the one we saw a little while ago. Oh, this is kind of wild. Look at the top on this. That's pretty cool. 29.5 on that one. It's a 53 Chevy, two door. There's a Chevy pickup there for 7,500. It's the same owner as the one before it. There's a big Grand Prix, 27.5. Yeah, we got quite a few along here. Here's a big Olds. I had one of these. This one's a 75. 38,000 miles, but they want $40,000 for that. I had one that didn't look much worse than that. I think I sold it for $4,500. You know, it's been a few years, maybe 10 years, but I don't think they've jumped from 10, 10 times the price. I don't think so, I don't know. This is an international rat rod here. They kind of chopped down a grill. That's a big truck grill on that. No price, but there's a phone number there. Stop. Well, there is just a giant sea of vehicles here. Monte Carlos, there's a Camaro there, there's a Mercury over there. Just look down the road, there's a lot of them going down there, but we got all this side here too. So we're gonna kinda go along quickly and bear with me. We'll show, show as much as we can. Couple VWs here. 35 grand on that one. This one here is 45 grand, 44.9. Think that's the info for them. Got a Cobra that got covered up. There's a possibility of rain tonight. It did rain earlier, so. There's an El Camino here, 72 El Camino, 22,995. Another, another Beetle there, 8,500. Here's a clean looking Chevy pickup, it's a 93. Short box, 16 grand there. Here's a Chevy Post, two-door post. It's a 55, price is 58,000 on that. Here's a Model A truck, 1930. Price at 15.5, there's a phone number. Got a rack body, it's a double A truck. Come an older restoration, it's bubbling on the bottom edges. Needs a top too, top's kind of popping. This is a, a big car crowd. See that white building way down there? That's where this ends. Way down that way. A 
we'll jump over here to this side. Just kind of zigzagging back and forth. This is a 66 Caprice, 15.9 on that. It's a four door, but it looks like a really nice original car. It's a 327 small block. Another square body from there. I'm going to jump over and meet you on the other side. Well, we got a, a Hummer here and a 32 Ford three window. This has got a 348 Chevy with tri carbs in there, big block Chevy. I'll show you this is email there. Price is $89.9. I'm assuming at that price it's a steel body. There it is. There's a patina Chevy truck here. Orange patina here. Kind of cool looking. It's a 71. There's all the information there. Don't see the price on that one, I guess. Just the information. There's a Volkswagen. Must be a convertible. They got that covered up. There is a insane amount of cars here. And trucks, I should say, not just cars, trucks too. What is this one back here? This is an international truck on the front and it looks like a Cadillac quarter panel on the back. They've got it as a 39 International, but as most of you people know, that is not a 39 International because that grill is later. That's a KB grill or a K series, so that's you know 41 up grill. Same with the cab. But look at the back end of this it's Cadillac, Cadillac quarters, Cadillac bumper. That's wild. That is really wild. Another beetle here. There's a red one over here too. Red and yellow. Here's the information on that one. 71 beetle. 56 holes here. Don't see a price on that one. Here's an F-250, 68. Kind of a patina truck, no price. They don't all have prices on them. Some of them do, some of them don't. Here's a 37 Ford Coupe, asking 24K. There's the, the phone number there, you can see it. A hot rotted one. Here's a Chevy here. Another Ford over there. Look at this Cadillac here. That's nice, huh? Here's another Cadillac on the right here. And there's a Studebaker. Bullet nose Studebaker here too. There's a two door. Price is 10.5. Here's the information. Got a Buick and a Jeep here. There goes a Volvo down the road. We're gonna keep walking so we can get through these. There's a lot of them. Mustang here. Twenty-eight-five on the drag car there. Twenty-two grand on the Ford pickup. They're calling it a fifty-one, but it's got a. It's not a 51, it's a 48 to 50 with that grill and that small rear window. 51 and 2 would have a toothy grill and a wide rear window. It's also got big truck running boards there. Notice how they don't go all the way back to the, 
fender. Well, we got a few more along here. There's a Chevy. It's got a 383 in it. It's 58k. Chevy wagon here, 56. That's 59k. We're gonna get through a few more of these here, so we're not gonna talk about them all. But there's a Challenger, 62.5 on that. Look at this one here. It's got quite the engine sticking up there. Another Chevy Bel Air. There's a Ford pickup there. Look over here. Here's a Hudson 29 Hudson Coupe. That's pretty cool. Got Connecticut plates on it. Wood wheels. Uh, There's one of 15 produced. I really doubt that. Anything's possible, I guess, but. I don't think they made only 15 of any Hudson that I know of. No price on the Hudson. Here's a Chevy pickup. No information on that one. Here's a 70 Maverick for 22.5. 57 Corvette here. 78.5 on that one. There's the information there. Well, we're going to have to skip through a few of these because there is just too many. And they're closing down this area. They're, I'm going to get locked in here if I don't get out of here in a few minutes. So I'm going to jump through a few of these. Here's a nice 442 here. That one is 55 grand, 66. Looks real nice. 57 Chevy convertible here for 125. There's a two door hardtop. Oh, this one's got nice colors to it. No price on that one. There's a 32 Vicky. 29.5 on that. Another rat rod truck here for 17.5. This is wild here. Look at this thing. Get a 32 grill. Saying a 35 Ford. That's what it says on the windshield. I don't know. It says 33 on here. But it's heavily modified, probably fiberglass too. Not sure on that one. There's another Beetle, 69 for 18 grand. There's a Toyota, it's 1980 Corolla, no price. <coughs> Looks pretty nice though. So. 35 Chevy three window for 32.5. The airport's close to here, I can hear a jet flying over. 55 Chevy pickup there for 55 grand. Well, I'll kind of pan over the end of this aisle and we'll jump back to the other side and work our way back to the gate. Oh, baby, I better check this little boat tail or uh, torpedo back Ford here. It's a Model T, it looks like, or a Model A. Let's see what it says about it here. 16.9 is the price. Calls it a 29 Ford Model A right there. There's the information. Here's a T-Bird. Nova. You name it. They got it here. There's a Porsche over there. Guys looking at that red Porsche. But we'll jump over to the other side from here. Well, we got a few Chevys up here, Camaro and a 55. Here's a, a 1940 Chevy pickup for 24,000. That red Ford there, I'll show you that real quick. This is a rotisserie restoration. This thing is really nice. I mean, this thing is 
like new. And it's 39.5. That's the information there. Phone number and stuff if you're interested. That is a very nice truck. Little Chevy four door here. Looks like a good original. Let's see what the price is here. 12 1. It's a 52. Mostly original, looks like. There's a Ford five window here. Let's see what it says about it. One's a 34. So a steel body glass fender, it's 45K. There's the phone number right there. There's a 56 Chevy. Right there, 58,000, you can see the phone number. And here is a 39 Ford. This would be a standard with that grill. Looks like probably a Chevy engine. There's the info there, 55,000. Real nice inside, it's a coupe. Pretty nice car there. Kentucky plates on it. Well, I've come out here the last couple years and last year it was like 80, 85 degrees burning up in the sun. This year's overcast, uh, much cooler, like, in, like about 70 degrees, really comfortable. Get the golf cart parade going again here. Here's another little Chevy pickup here. This one's 12.5. Got the phone number there. It's a short box, step side, 1964. There's a 72 big block Chevy there. 21.5 on that. Here's a little Ford here, two door sedan. This one's got a painted, painted grill and stuff. Somebody didn't want to chrome, 9,500. Wow, look at that Lincoln over there. That really stands out with the salmon pink. This here is wild. It really sits up in the air. Look at the size of those tires. 38 grand on that. But what I wanted to do is get over here to the other side. There's a real nice looking Chrysler convertible over here. Check it out. And get over to it. There you go. No price though, just the guy's info. Really nice. Good looking color, nice car. A little bit of pitting in the chrome grill. But it looks like they redid the bumpers probably and stuff. And we're working our way down the, the last area here. So we'll scoop by some of these. Look at that custom car there, got a Lincoln Lincoln Zephyr Grill looks like. Here's a 63 Buick. 12.9 on that one. Looks like a good survivor. We have a Chevy or a GMC pickup there, the white patina one, but we'll check this Ford one out because we haven't seen too many Fords yet. This one's a 57 F100, 12.5 is the price. It's also the wide, wide rear window on the cab. Notice the rear window is, goes all the way over. So that, that's the uh, deluxe cab, custom cab. Pretty cool truck. We got another, another Chevy there. Over here we got a Ford. Some main license plates on it. Fired up one of those. Like 
there was a Chevy maybe over there that they started up. Well, we'll scoot down along this side here. Got another square body here, boys. A lot of square bodies. Got one there. Got a crew cab one over here. This is the first crew cab one I've seen here. Somebody looking to build a, a square body crew cab. I uh, I have a couple at our yard. A couple of just the cabs. Well, cab and frame. Somebody's looking for one. That's 49.5. That's what you can end up with right there. This is Z28. Another Impala over here. This one is twenty thousand dollars. It's a '66, forty-two thousand miles. Looks really nice. It's a two eighty-three. You can see the phone number there. That one does look real nice. Look at the Bronco. We better check the Bronco out for all you Bronco guys. These are getting extremely difficult to find. And when you do, this is what happens. Notice the price. 68,000 miles. Nice little Bronco. But it isn't pocket change. Well, jump over this side. Huh? There's a little bird going across here. A nice looking Ford convertible over here. We'll check that out. The Ram Charger here on the left for 19.5. It's a Galaxy 500, 64. This one says it's got a 390. Right there, 28.5 on the price. Sounds like somebody burning rubber back there. Taking off. There's a Cheyenne Chevy, good looking truck. It's got the Cheyenne. It's a premium package there. We'll check the price on it. It's a V8 350. 1971. It's got a three speed. There's the information 28K. Good looking pickup. Pontiac over there on the left. There's the $9,800 Dodge. That one says solid. Tennessee whiskey on the side. $7,900 on the Chrysler here. $22,500 on the Mustang. Look at this Chevy van. This is wild. 9,800. It's a shagging wagon. And there's already somebody in there. Well, folks, we're, we're getting locked out here. I gotta, gotta try to find my way out of this place. Look at the giant bleachers there. This is the Daytona 500 racetrack in Florida, Daytona, Florida. And we just showed you the swap meet. So uh, we're gonna try to get out of here. I guess they closed the gates, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get to my ride out here, but I'm gonna work on it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We've got all kinds of cool stuff planned for this year and in the future. And uh, give us good comments, give us uh, likes, all that kind of stuff. And uh, all that stuff helps the channel and we can do as many of these as we can for you. So thank you, and we'll catch you on the next one.